Donald Trump's desperation appears to be intensifying, and his latest lie about Kamala Harris is a big one. Trump is now claiming that Harris met with Russia's Vladimir Putin just days before Putin's Russia invaded Ukraine. Remember, when Biden sent Kamala to Europe to stop the war in Ukraine, she met with Putin, and then three days later, he attacked. How did she do? You think she did a good job? She met with Putin to tell him, don't do it. And three days later, he attacked. That's when the attack started. Did you know that, General? Should have sent you. The General did not know that because it wasn't true. And nobody has ever suggested Harris met Putin until Donald Trump made the claim this week. Even a spokesperson for the Kremlin says Harris and Putin have never met each other. In February of 2022, Harris attended a security conference in Germany and delivered remarks warning that Russia would create a false pretext for invading Ukraine, but Putin did not attend the meeting. Now, in the wake of Donald Trump's campaign speech whopper, Trump repeated the Harris-Putin lie on Fox and Friends. Naturally, the Fox host did not immediately challenge or push back on Donald Trump. Later, after the 40-minute rambling interview was over and Donald Trump hung up, Fox host Brian Kilmeade delivered a clarification of sorts. And just as a, a quick clarification, we don't have confirmation that uh, the vice president went to Russia to meet with Vladimir Putin. I know she went over to Europe right before the, uh, the incursion when Russia invaded Ukraine, and it's a war that's still going on right now. I've heard, I've heard that said a lot. You don't have confirmation that that's true? No, I don't, I don't think that, I don't know if the vice president ever met uh, Vladimir Putin. I don't know, said Kilmeade. In other words, the Fox host is saying Trump could be telling the truth. Fox just does not know. What a bunch of weasels. Good grief. Brian, if you're unwilling or unable to say that Donald Trump lied, just say there is no evidence to back up Trump's claims. You could even record that and have it ready and on-air production playback every time Donald Trump speaks at a rally or gives you an interview. Anyway, the Trump fabrication about Harris and Putin fits in with Donald Trump's latest nickname for Kamala Harris, although even Donald Trump admits having difficulties making his taunts and criticism of her stick. Our country doesn't have a chance. This calamity is on Comrade Kamala Harris's shoulders. I think her name will be Comrade because I think that's the most accurate name. You know, I've been looking for a name. People are saying, sir, don't do it. You know all my names. They've all worked. They've all been very successful. And I really didn't find one with her. Sir, she's a woman. I said, so is Hillary Clinton. I called her Crooked Hillary. So nobody, nobody complained about that, right? Right? Mr. Governor, nobody complained about that. No, I called her crooked Hillary. I call people names. I call crazy Nancy Pelosi crazy because she is. She's nuts. Clearly, Trump is projecting on top of scrambling to attack Kamala Harris. And did you notice Trump's low energy in that speech? I seem to recall that eight years ago, Trump described Jeb Bush as low energy Jeb. Well, perhaps the chickens are coming home to roost for weird Don, convicted Don, or whatever else one wants to apply to him these days. The latest polls show Kamala Harris has now climbed to her largest lead over Donald Trump to date. She leads the real clear politics average of all polls. A morning console poll has Harris up by four. A CBS News poll shows Harris leading by three. Both are outside the margin of error. Plus, Harris is now leading in most battleground states. In other words, the Harris campaign is surging and Donald Trump is falling further behind. Trump is arguably unnerved by all of this. He is running not just for the presidency, but to keep his freedom. And with less than three months until Election Day and none of the Trump attacks appearing to hurt Harris, Donald Trump is struggling. So the false claims are getting wilder and more unhinged. And you know it's bad for Trump when even Russia's Kremlin is calling Donald Trump a liar. By the way, a GOP attack on Harris running mate Tim Walls is now backfiring against Republicans. When you go to China, they yeah. surveil you. If an American goes to China 30 times in the 90s, they have surveillance footage of him. That is Fox News dingbat Jesse Waters and GOP Congressman James Comer talking about Democratic vice presidential candidate Tim Walls. As the independent headline says, Republicans promote baseless theory about Tim Walz's China visits and claim he was groomed as double agent. They have surveillance footage yeah. probably of his honeymoon night. What kind of compromise is that? They were worried about Trump and a P tape I mean, situation. That that was all made up. This is serious business. Check out that video at the link below. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.